So in this drawing, I'm going to continue with my first drawing and I'm going to add in some detail and I'm going to start off by looking at a few different ways to draw lines in AutoCAD. Now, I'm just going to show you that there are actually four different ways you can draw a line in AutoCAD uh, using different um, coordinate control systems, uh, absolute, relative, polar and tracking. So we look at each of these four in turn. But the first one I want to show you is the absolute coordinates. Now, with absolute coordinates, you have to consider that your uh, CAD screen has two directions in it. It's a two dimensional screen. Uh, you've got up and down, which is called the um, X coordinate, and you've got left and right, which is called the Y coordinate. Now, that's actually the wrong way around. And how I know it's the wrong way around is that if you look over here on your CAD screen, you can actually see a little X and a Y prompt down here. So the X direction is left and right, and the Y direction is up and down on your CAD screen. So distance from the uh, origin point uh, is written down as a number comma a number. Now the units in AutoCAD are millimeters. So if I want to start a line 100 millimeters to the left of the origin point and 100 millimeters to the uh, north or up the page from the origin point, I'd write it in as 100 comma 100. The origin point is this point in here where the X and the Y axes would meet. So I'm going to start by drawing a line on here, uh, 100 comma 100, and I'll show you how that works. So on your command line, where well, you can draw a line by clicking up here, but I prefer to use the command line. Uh, it's much easier to remember the shortcut. So L and enter will bring up the command line for drawing a line. And you can see it's prompting you here, specify the first point. So using the, the number on my keyboard, I'm typing in 100 and then the comma on my keyboard and then 100. And when I've typed in the starting point for the line, I press enter and I see my line is beginning to draw here now. So the fixed point of my line, which is kind of over here to the, the left hand side, that's the fixed point. That's 100 millimeters to the right of the origin and 100 millimeters up from the origin. And I'm just going to click over here, left click to uh, draw the other end of that line, just in, in some random spot. It's not important. Uh, and I don't want to carry on with this line, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the Enter key, which ends the line command. Now, just to prove that uh, I've got this 100 in here, I'm just going to put on a little dimension, a really quick dimension in here, and I'm going to say from 0, 0 to the end of the line. And if I click in here, I can show you that it's 100 millimeters to the left of the origin point. I'm going to rub out that dimension line for a second. And I'm going to put in uh, another dimension line. And I'm going to go uh, up and down instead of left and right. So in here again, I've got 100. So that line begins 100 mil to the right of the origin and 100 mil up from the origin. Now, using that method of inputting a, a coordinate is very common when you're looking at the starting point for any shape. So we're going to be looking at some very basic shapes in this now. Second coordinate system we're going to look at is relative coordinates. And this is where the coordinates of a point are entered rel relative to the previous point. The difference this time is we need to use the at symbol. Now you've used that before. It's on your keyboard. Anytime you sent an email, you would have used the at symbol. It's the exact same symbol. It's got a button on the keyboard. Remember that left and right is the X direction and up and down is the Y direction. And the next little complication that comes in here is that you have to have a sign before the number. So if it's a positive number, it's going to be to the right. If it's a negative number, it's going to be to the left. If it's a positive Y number, it's going to be up the screen. If it's a negative Y number, it's going to be down the screen. So let's have a look at how that works uh, in uh, an example here. Now with this shape here, the starting point is going to be um, an absolute coordinate and the only absolute coordinate we've got in this entire shape is up here 60 comma 210 and then I want to draw a line 50 millimeters to the right so I've got at 50 comma 0 so what that means is from this starting point I want to draw at 50 units to the right because it's a positive number comma 0 units up or down because it's a horizontal line when I get to this point here I'm going to go uh, at 0, 20, which means I want, I'm going to draw the other end of this line relative to where I am, up the screen, 20 millimeters, 
but no distance left or right. And it's the same kind of thing until you get to here, where it becomes a little bit different. This is our first negative number. So when we get to this point here, our next point will be down the screen. It's zero left and right because it's a vertical line. And it's minus 20 because it's down the screen. OK, so let's have a look at how that looks. I'm just going to erase this line for a second. So L and Enter will start my command. My starting coordinate, remember from last time, is going to be 60, 210. So I'm going to type in here 60, 210 and Enter. And I can see my line starting point uh, on the left hand side there. Now just as a reminder, I'm here now and I want to draw 50 units to the right and no units up and down. So back in here on my command line, I type in at 50, 100, oh, sorry, 50, 0 and Enter. And that will draw that has drawn a horizontal line 50 units long in here. If I look back at what I'm aiming for, I'm now at this point and I want to go 20 units up. So I have to type in at 0, 20. Let's look how that looks. So down here I type in at 0, 20 and enter. And you can see that without actually clicking anything on the drawing area, I'm getting the line drawn nice and horizontal and nice and vertical. So I'm just here now. Next point is 130 units to the right and zero units up and down. So it's a horizontal line in other words. So back down here where it's saying to specify the next point, I type in at 130 comma zero and enter. Now I've got a line 130 units long. This is the first place where I've got a negative number coming in. So I just want to show you that one and the rest of it is very self-explanatory. So I'm at this point and I want to go down 20 millimeters. So it's zero left and right and it's 20 down. So there's the minus 20. So let's have a look at that one. Back in here at zero comma and on the keyboard I'm typing in the minus symbol 20 and enter. And I've got a vertical line that has been drawn down the page. So using that same method you would carry on and use that shape there to end up with that shape. OK, so so far we've seen uh, absolute coordinates, which allow us to tell the computer where we want to start. And we've seen relative coordinates, which tell the computer where do we want to go based on what we've already drawn. We started here. We wanted to go 50 mil to the right. We got to here. We wanted to go 20 mil up. We got to here. We wanted to go 130 mil to the right. We got to here, we wanted to go 20 mil down. So every coordinate you put in is based on where you've already drawn to. So in the next little video clip, I'm going to go and do the next two ways of drawing straight lines.